So welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about how you can find the right authorization object within SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA and how you can analyze it. Here right now we are in the transaction code SU53. I think this is one of the most important transaction codes regarding authorizations and regarding SAP security. And here right now we can see that uh, this SAP user doesn't have authorization for two transaction codes. So he tried to execute the transaction SU53 and the transaction Miro. And here right now the related authorization object is displayed and here for example if you would like to analyze this authorization object more closely then uh, i will show you in a couple of seconds but um, what you can also do is for example you can use the transaction su24 regarding the maintenance of authorization default values and here for example if you're using the mm01 a transaction code to create materials and then you execute it then you will see the default authorizations default authorization object regarding this transaction code so all the related and needed authorization objects and here once again uh, authorization objects are listed and once again the st code especially for the mm01 to execute a transaction code but how can you now analyze that authorization object more closely and therefore you have to open up a transaction code the SU21. Once you've executed this transaction code then you end up in here you will see the authorization object maintenance and basically yeah, you here you can create authorization objects you can create authorization object classes you can make changes and so on but what is also really really important is that you have a selection criteria regarding the authorization object because here you can use the for help to search for your authorization object or within here you can type it in so for example as t code in our case and then what you have to do is then you have to execute this selection in order to display the authorization object so once again here we click on the execute button then we end up in here and here basically you're seeing some header information some object attributes and most relevant i think the authorization fields and yeah here right now we can see that in our case we just have one authorization field and if you for example double click then within the forward navigation you can also display the authorization field uh, more closely and here right now we can see what kind of data element is being used so in this case the t code you have you can see that the domain t code is being used as well once again while the forward navigation double click you will end up in the ABAP dictionary so within the se11 and within here you can once again forward navigation do a couple of analyzes and you can see within here that for this domain the table tstct um, is relevant and you can just use values that are stored within this table so within the transaction code table if we're going a couple of steps back then we see exactly the same within here that uh, basically for the search help um, there's also a check table once again makes sense the tst c table uh, where the transaction codes are stored and regarding this analyze step once again one step back you can really easily see what kind of authorization field this authorization object has and how you can use it properly within the pfcg transaction in order to maintain roles um, or uh, yeah to to handle authorizations to sap users properly and what is also or might be really useful is to get an overview of all the authorization objects within the sap system and to get an overview of all the authorization objects within the sap system you have to open up the data browser I myself prefer the SE16N, you can also use the SE16 or the SE16H, what you like to. And then within here you have to 
type in the table TOBJ and this is the table that stores information regarding the authorization object and here for example number of entries we can see right now that within this SAP system there are yeah, around about 5,000 different authorization objects stored with or available within the SAP system and that are being used and here once again the S underscore T code and then I execute the search uh, we seeing exactly the same header information as we saw in the SU21 and this is also or might be really useful and we have the um, yeah, related text tables so for example within here you can also search for different authorization objects if you maybe just would like to display the text um, regarding one uh, language, so for example, EN for English or DE for German, what you like to. And how can it be differently? Uh, you can also uh, search authorization objects within the SUIM transaction code. And if you enter the transaction code in the OK code field, command field, then you will end up in the user information system. And within here, you have a node called authorization object. And once again, I can highly recommend the SUIM transaction code because as mentioned, by the way, you have a lot of great possibilities to search for your information regarding SAP security in general. But within here you have the possibility to search for authorization objects by complex selection criteria. So you can just execute this, then you will end up in here. Here, once again, you can just type in your authorization object, what you like to. Um, and then yeah, I just will execute uh, the selection criteria. Just maybe takes a couple of seconds but here right now we can now see also all the authorization objects within the SAP system and yeah basically here you have uh, also some nice um, additional information regarding the authorization object and if you double click on one then you will end up once again in the SU21 transaction, get a closer look. So for example, on different um, yeah, authorization fields, um, yeah, then you can click on the, on the glasses icon to see what kind of values are possible and so on. Uh, yeah, I've now shown you a couple of steps how you can analyze authorization objects properly within the SAP system, how you can get an overview of all the authorization objects they are really really important regarding SAP security and uh, yeah if you have any questions left put them in the comment section and please subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.